So the baptism of fire is to let God purge your life according to his will. In which you're no longer opinionated about what's happening because it's all connected to his purpose. You can tell when you've been in the fire because once it's done, you, you don't even have ownership no more. You don't even have, uh oh, you don't have opinions no more. You 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 just like, you just trying to figure out, and it's not spooky like it was in times past where you had to pray about anything. Right. Come on. I'm going to pray about it. We prayed and fasted our way out of stuff. Amen. We thought we prayed and fasted our stuff, self into stuff. Amen. As we, we got so convoluted in our own perspective. But I'm here to tell you, when this fire is. It's done its perfect work. Be no opinions. Amen. See, too many times you have to go to church and say, open up the book of opinions. Because everybody got an opinion. And we need to say, what is the Lord's? You know, and then as you mature in your faith, guess what? Remember in the Old Testament, they had the Urim and Thummim? And it would light up. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. The Rabbi said it would light up if God was giving you yea and nay. I believe we have a you and a life and perfection on the inside of us. That your, bear, your spirit will bear witness with his spirit. I believe God can speak on a certain cadence to your spirit. And you don't even have to go to the secret place because you become the secret place. And every time you speak a word to you, you say, that's God. I know that's God. I don't have to pray about it before because peace that passes all understanding keep my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Because you're connected to his purpose. When you know that the baptism is there, you understand that it's going to come to consume every corruptible thing in your life. Yes. Yes. I mean, though, sometimes you can build your marriage incorrectly. Mm -hmm. yes, your business. Yes, huh? It's, it's, a, it's just a whole litany of stuff we can go through right now. Some relationships need to fire. Need to ask God, God, I know when you when the fire is turned up and you got it on another notch, it's not for you to destroy me. It's for you to bring distinction and definition to my life so I can know what I'm doing because I want to make sure that I'm co-laboring with you. I'm going to make sure that I'm walking circumspectly for you. That's how you redeem the time. You ever read it? Redeeming the time just simply means I'm, I'm in a Kairos moment all the time. I'm not beating the air. Go ahead. Yes. Yep. Amen. I'm so sensitive to God that I'm being led by God. Now, we, we make mistakes. All of us do. Yes. Some of us are chronic. Mm -hmm. And then you have to pick up yourself and say, you know what, God, I blew it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't whitewash it. Right. <laughs> uh, you know what, I, I really don't know. Some things didn't work out. No, you blew it. Yeah. You made a mistake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your vantage point was a little off. Then you open yourself so you won't have to be like the Laodicean church. They didn't even know what state of mind they were in. He said, you don't even know. He said, I would that you was hot or cold. But you are blind and naked and miserable. Because we have a form of godliness. And God has not called us to that stuff. We need to be honest and say, God, you know what? I, I need your help. I need your grace. I need your mercy. I know you consume everything in my life. I know that you make and you making sure that the foundation is straight in my life. Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing with this fire, with this, so we can find out what manner of work it is. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. I'm excited about it. Yeah. You know, when you're in it, it don't seem all that. But you know, if you go through it enough, yeah. you can see it coming. Amen. Right. You can say grace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because you know the end of a thing. So with Terry, he ain't gonna lie. I mean, I understand all the particulars, but I got enough confidence in God yes, yes. that he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should yes. repent. And if he said he's gonna do it, if he spoke, yes. he's gonna bring it to pass. Numbers 23 and 19, I can rest in that. Amen. Oh. Only those who allow themselves to be purged by the Holy Spirit can see where the wrong things are being built on the foundation. You can't see. We can't see correctly. But when my obedience to what he's called me to do, and I'm walking circumspectly, and my heart is not self-centered, it's focused on God. When I'm building it incorrectly, even if I got the wrong material, I can tell if it's leaning to the left or to the right. I can tell 
according to what he's written in the tablets of my heart. That is not the, the principle. That is not the pattern. That is not the blueprint that I've seen in the word Man. that I know I've been convinced of. Man. Even if it's spoken on my life prophetically, yeah. I got a conviction in my heart that this don't measure up. Yeah. And I'm willing to let him to huff and puff and blow it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you need to do to straighten out the foundation. Because yeah. the foundation has to do with the, your endurance. It has to do with how, how you're going to endure the times. Your longevity. Because we're not only building a foundation and laying it for our own generation. It's a time we're passing it to our kids and our kids' kids. Come on now. When the foundation is laid correctly, we're not just going to enjoy it and waste it on one generation. We want to make sure that it's laid so they don't have to revisit the foundation. So they don't have to go through the toil and the, and, and the, and the mistakes. And, and you get what I'm saying? And they can experience the glorious memory. That's what it's all about. Because we know that the path of the just shine is more and more to a perfect day. That means the measure of glory and the measure of understanding I have. God is going to add to it in the next generation. But it has to have a foundation first. Amen? So we need to be purged by the Holy Spirit. So the fire is coming to purge us. It's coming to purge us to prepare us. Prepare us. Amen? This baptism is coming to purge us. So we can strip away all of our self-righteous pretensions until we content to have to content. To let him live his life through us as he chooses. Amen. Hold on, what do you mean? I say it again. <laughs> God will strip away all of your self-righteous pretensions. <clears throat> you know, looking like you got it together and all the other stuff. Until we are content to let him live his life through us as he chooses. No more fabrication. No more knockoffs. The real deal, genuine. That's what folks wait on. They still say they must see Christ. They want to see Christ through us. And he that's what holding the seals anyway, y'all. It's living the life of another. Mm -hmm. It's the Christ in us living his life through us. That's all it is. It's not, we, we can try to do, we, you know, this touch not, taste not, and handle not. No, no. It's, it's I'm swallowed up now. I have no, no preferences. It's all about him. I'm yoked, like we mm -hmm. said in times past, to him. Therefore, I understand that there's a decrease that comes to me as a result of this baptism of fire, as a result of my works being exposed. There's a decrease that happens, and Christ increases in us. And we recognize that we are nothing apart from him, and that there is nothing good in our flesh. Ain't no, good, ain't no goodness in our flesh. And I'm not talking about this... this uh, 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 holiness stuff that in times past, you know, we, we try to uh, uh, talk condescending to our bodies, but I'm talking about not just our flesh as it relates to appetites, but I'm talking about us walking independent in our own wisdom. Amen. Nothing good in it. So this fire removed the veil of our flesh. It strips it away. All the self-righteous pretensions. All the things we've accumulated. As we started off, we talked about the shaft being removed. We're gonna, that's the outward things. Mm -hmm. It's going to be removed for our life so that we're going to be known even as he's known. Christ who is our life shall appear. Y'all already know we talk, talk, talk so many times here. It's not, in my, it's not necessarily something going to happen at the end of time. It can happen to me all of the time. Yes. Yeah. Something is going to happen. To me, it's just like we learned that the foundation is the instruction that's given to us, being taught by a teacher. Every time God opened up the eyes of my understanding, He shall appear. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Where through us, yes, in us, yes, we can behold Him. No veils, no restrictions. Amen. So that the Spirit, so we can live by the Spirit of Christ. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm a I mean, we went over to Romans 8. We talked about being quickened in our mortal body. <laughs> I want my body. I want my life. Everything that's connected to me to be quickened by his spirit. I lived long enough as a living soul. That was my first birth. I'm in a new birth. I'm a new species. Amen. I'm a catesis man. I'm habitable now. And I, not only do I affect my little circle of my space, but I, I'm, 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 I want to extend the lines of my boundaries. Amen. I want to touch other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 
Yeah, that's, that's what's happening tonight. My life is uh, touching you while I'm ministering the word. Y'all know that, right? The line is going out. <laughs> so this, this, this venue, this vehicle of God's sanctification and cleansing, the baptism of fire, is going to ignite a, only something on the inside of us that it, it begins to increase the capacity of the newness of life that all of us have on the inside of us. That's what the eternal life is, not necessarily the length of life, it's the quality of life. So the spirit of Christ is on the inside of us as it longs to endure the baptism of fire. And we're growing up in our faith and we've been renewed in the spirit of our mind. We begin to see what we were actually in the intentions of God for our life. Which is that the word of God becomes a messenger of fire to us mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. And it brings the, the, the level of intensity that we face with because God is bringing us into realms of perfection. To you never God wants to bring you. God wants to bring you. Into realms of perfection. Into realms of perfection. Now we're going to talk about the ministry, the effects of this fire. So we can talk about perfection. We can talk about cleansing. We can talk about purification. We can talk about all of the things that has to do with soteriology, which is salvation. And then we're going to talk about justification, sanctification, but that's the glorification that comes on the, on the end of it. So he's not just trying to put us in this infernal, <laughs> this spiritual infernal. He's defining us. For what? A purpose. Yeah. Now I'm getting ready to say some unlawful things. I know we, people got people watching. It's going to be a little unlawful. It's uncomfortable because it's a kingdom principle. I thank God for kingdom yeah. men and women of God. Amen. Amen. So we need to think, I'm going to try to set this backdrop, but it's very imperative. I believe after the dust settle, after the smoke ceases, after the blaze has come to the culmination of the ages, God's going to have a people that's going to reflect something. I'm going to show it to you because there's a mission on his mind. 